Jason, I wanted you to show me Final Fantasy Type-0 HD. I'm, uh, well, I really wanted to show it to you as well, but I didn't get a chance to play too much of this. You proved to be unequal to the task. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, this, this game is kind of dense. So, uh, so we brought an expert in. A ringer. Yeah. Hi. It's Alexa from GameSpot. How are you guys? Doing all right. Except other than, you know, looking at a Final Fantasy game. Hey, nothing hey, wrong. I don't know. I mean, Alexa, so. <laughs> I am super glad that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about this game a little bit. All right. Primarily, so this was an yes. old ass PSP game, like three or three, three or four years old, right? No, you don't, only you don't say. I wouldn't call three or four old ass, but yeah. the PSP game so would, old ass. I would never know from looking at this that it's um, a PSP game. 2011, and it was only released in Japan. We didn't get it. Um, you can see the HD is half done. She's beautiful, and the other two guys were kind of flat. Oh, so so like they've touched up some characters and not others. Yeah, um, wow. if you're a main, as you can see, if you're a main character, these are main characters. They're very beautifully done. Like they look really good. Sure. But then uh, you get to like the side characters, and they're flat, and they're sort of like opening their mouths like very rapidly. I kind of feel like they've been doing that for a while with the series. Like I think I remember like even thirteen they had a bunch of janky ass NPCs walking around. Oh yeah, if you're an NPC, yeah, you just get the shaft. <laughs> Final Fantasy NPCs are like third class citizens. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a it's a shame too because I, I played the uh, the Japanese like demo um, and I loved it because I mean it really just kind of showed off the combat. And I'm like, yeah, this is this is right up my alley. And then I bought the game, imported it, and there was a huge barrier with the language. So I'm like, oh, well, I'll just wait for the eventual English release, which never happened. Four years until, later, yeah, until now, so. Yeah, there were a bunch of fan, like they were working on a fan they translation, which Square Enix did like a big cease and desist yeah. last year, and then like oh, wow. a week later they announced that <laughs> they were bringing it over. Ah, uh, gotcha. Uh, so it was you like, know, I guess once in a while that sort of thing is justified. Yeah. If, if they're going to make it up on their end, it's okay to, yeah. to fox the fans. Look at these janky, look at, she's gorgeous. Yeah. She's great. It's a hell of and a cigarette And that guy looks holder. horrible. Speaking of horrible. Look at that, look at that vape rig. Oh yeah, her vape rig. She, that's with her the entire game. That's enough talk. So part of the reason why I was having such a hard time like getting into this again is because of the storyline. Yeah. Uh, they just kind of drop you into this, you know, these four like warring factions or, or whatever in the middle of this war and you're trying to decipher what the hell's going on. They're just giving you, you know, pronoun after pronoun. Lissy, um, Falsy. Yeah, that shit's back yep. from 13. Yeah, right. it's weird. The stuff that makes no sense. The the narrative is weird. Like I played the game all the way through, and when I finished it, I still didn't understand exactly what was going on. Like Great. people, someone became a became a Lucy, which is a god but not a god, and then other people kill other people. Wait, you is have that to, what that is? Yeah, yeah. Like the people that are all super powerful are. It's the same. Which one is the good one? The good one. Lucy is the good one. Falsy is the bad one. No, they're all bad. They're all the way. They're all bad. Wait, are you saying being a god is bad? Being a god is bad. That sounds kind of fun. In these in these games. <laughs> oh wow. Um, didn't you play six? Kafka, the end. Yeah. Being a god. Mm. Spoilers for Final Fantasy six. Oh. Yes, yes. The um, end. The end comes beyond chaos. But the like this. So you 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 can only understand the story if you play the game multiple times, and the game is built to encourage you to do that. Hmm. But how so? Uh, like branching paths, or um, in some respects, it's branching paths. But also, like the game insinuates that the events of this game have been happening for like eons, uh -huh. and they keep happening again and again and again. And this woman is responsible for the world being reborn over and over. That's mother. Like mother, yeah. Like yeah. she made Class Zero. Like she's doing. She's talking to inanimate objects again. Class Class Zero is your stable. Your stable of, ki of magical kids, basically. Magical this is like kids. Harry Potter if it were incomprehensible and in Final Fantasy. <laughs> huh. That's, that might be the most succinct <laughs> summation of this game I've heard to date. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's totally Harry Potter. Um, Vaping away. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> These cutscenes are also incredibly long. Yeah, they're, they're really was, stiff too. Like oh whenever they, yeah. I was gonna say maybe we could just move on. Do you want to just I'm, buy? I'm totally <laughs> yeah, cool unless there's anything super profound that's no, about to happen. No, I just want. That's cool. The Rubicus. Who am I playing as? Mm. Oh, I'm this, oh I'm this oh. guy. Wow. So. Wow. Ready for that camera, kids? There's. The, oh wow. There's. Whoa. Oh my god. You got a move. Holy shit! There's that motion blur I've heard so much about. Let's, yeah. Uh, let's do a lecture. You want to do a lecture? Yeah, I do. I, so. I, oh. So too you fast. talk to the Moogle, and it, and it's like, okay, I'm going to teach you about this, 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 this. Let, let, let's take a yeah fundamentals, fundamentals of, of health. health. Yes, let's learn this stuff. So here's so here's the thing. It gives you this lesson plan. And then you sit for like 20 seconds. 
And they don't talk about that at all. Nothing happens. You just, they're all just sitting there in their wildly different poses because they're all different. Some yep. real, some real man spreading going on in the yeah, back there. Yeah, some egregious man spreading from. Oh God, I forgot his name. There is are, he Jack or is he yeah, Tan he, or something? Is I, he the, is, I think he's Jack. Is he the rakish devil may care? And you get yep. uh, HP dandy increases. sort of guy. Sure. You get bonuses. Wait, that's it? Yeah. Yeah, you get you get bonuses Wait. for sitting there. Okay. Sometimes there's some dialogue happening in the background. Is that a, is that just a temporary bonus? No, like that's that's, that's, your, that's you, a full bonus. Oh wow. Um, there are, I don't know, there's three dudes in Type Zero that I can't, like, they're so just the same person. Okay, that guy was this nine in the back. This is the crew. This is the crew. Wait, is that guy's name nine? Yeah. They're all, right. all named after I'm, cards. I'm kind of I'm kind of into that. Um, as you can see, they, they encourage you to level them all up uh, evenly, but as you can see, there's always one member of a team that sucks, and it's Deuce down here, and I never use her. Because she has a magic flute that does like no damage. Yep, I guess, can't attack. I guess it's time to drop um, deuce. From, drop the deuce from from the party. <laughs> <laughs> I really like. So when I actually talked to uh, the director a couple months ago, and he said that they did rebalancing on all of these characters for this release because some of them were used more than others. Oh um, sure. Uh, Ace is the f the fan favorite from Japan, so I'm going to use him. Ace is pretty cool. He's got a uh, like card attacks and stuff. He does attack cards. Let's go do stuff. What do you guys want to do? Yeah, I don't know. Let's kill something. Let's I guess. race uh, uh, Do you want to breed chocobos? No, not really. no, not so much. You I want to see this combat. Yeah, let's go out okay, of here. Let's go fight something. Let's get a mission All and right. then we'll go do it. I I hate to think this Ooh. is just just confirmation bias, but like Jason from when you were talking about how you never get motion sick from games. Yeah. Yeah. This I I don't yeah, ever get motion sick from oh, games. I don't but care. I, but this I feel <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a little swimmy headed here. Yep. Yeah. No. This game. Stop talking, everyone. All right, so I'll talk to this person. A situation has arisen. Defeat six bombs for the central command officer. Okay. Uh, in Jubanla. I don't know where the heck Jubanla is, but we can go find it. All right, we're gonna go defeat six bombs. I thought you were an expert, Alexa. <laughs> I think it's up in the corner. No, she's only played through the game once. Oh, sorry. I mean, I played a, I played a little bit of the second one. Okay, we're going up there. Just need to play through. Oh yeah, could you uh, could you turn subtitle? Oh down? yeah, uh, n not there. Mm. There it is. Instant on. Do, oh, you want them on? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we can continue jibber jabber. I turn them off because forget it. Just running around. Oh, you can talk to him. There's a Moogle around here somewhere. Oh. oh. Hey! <laughs> Check it out. Hold up, bros. All my dudes have been sent off to battle. Kubo. Kubo. All bitches. my all my Kubros. Ah. Kubros. Are here. Yeah. Uh, is that thing you picked up is that is that more of a side oh. activity? Yeah. It's like a side quest type thing. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Or we can just go straight. We can go. I'll show you random encounters and then I'll show you what missions look like. Okay. Is this just game running. basically built around the loop of taking missions and going out and improving your party? Yes, just it kinda, is. Kind of cycling in and out. What is this like an academy? Yeah. So this thing? is this is the Harry Potter school for gifted Final Fantasy children. Um, it's who's in my party right now? So you've accepted a mission, but you still got to like walk all the way out to this gate. In order to oh start? yeah. Every time you okay, I don't want eight and nine in my thing, so I'm gonna switch up my reserves a little bit. Every time you start a mission, you have to do this walk, like this walkthrough. You have to go all the way down through the academy, through the doors, like into the world. Like you have to take that walk every single time. There's that, no like instant stinks. teleport. Overworld. Oh my God, it's got an overworld. Yeah. That's something that you don't see very often in Final Fantasy anymore. I know. Yeah, it's been a while. Right? It's okay. Where's your hovercraft board? Um, oh, random encounter. Airships, airships you have to go back into academia for. All right, so. All right. Let's lock on to something right. and fight it. We got three dudes. So what I really dig about the combat engine is it's very action-oriented. Let's Jeez, switch yeah. up. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, oh, I won already. Oh. Too good. So when enemies die, you explode their bodies into blood and you, like, absorb their life energy. This is really cool. So instead of, if you need to level up or yeah, whatever, what is this? instead of running around the overworld waiting for enemies to appear, um, oh, you can just keep grinding. You can just keep grinding. You can huh. just have the same battle over and over and over. That's interesting. Okay. 
This is Machina. He's this the brooding one. Oh, someone I know joined a party. I was gonna ask what <laughs> you're doing here, but it seems like this this set of enemies is gonna be dead too fast to explain. So, maybe maybe wait till we get to a longer battle. They'll all be pretty short in this region. Um, explain the, uh, the what, you're, what you're getting with the Phantoma. So the Phantoma in the world are these. Mm. It's it's basically like life energy. So you're taking life energy from these creatures. Mm -hmm. And the Phantoma can be used, you can use the Phantoma to upgrade all of your magic spells there we go. to make okay. them more powerful. Um, but also, only Class Zero can harvest Phantoma because Class Zero is a special, a special group of children made by Mother, basically, made by um, Dr. Arisha. Gotcha. And they're using the Phantoma for nefarious purposes. I don't want to spoil what they're using it for. But um, you can use it to just make yourself more powerful. I don't want to fight them anymore. Chocobo. You want to ride Chocobo? Yeah. What kind of Chocobo? A I got a couple. Chocobo. La lady Chocobo. No, Wait, don't, hang don't on. waste your combat Chocobo. You want a lady war Chocobo? I want a lady war Chocobo. Okay. What's the difference between a war Chocobo and a combat Chocobo? Um, if I encounter a large enemy on the map, or if I'm doing a skirmish, this Chocobo will do a lot of damage, actually. Oh, neat. Okay. So I'm going up and right. All right, I'm going the right way. We can always you can abandon quests at any time as well. The thing about using chocobos on the world map, though, is if you use them, you um, like lose them when they're done. You can okay. We're not those guys are level ninety nine. I really want this chocobo right here, but I don't want that guy to see me. Oh god. Is that a behemoth? Yes. No. Oh, oh no. Wait. Oh, what? So now, it, now, now it's just gone forever. What? Yeah, what's that, what's that prompt leave. on the what's that prompt on the right there? To call another chocobo. Oh, uh, okay. That's Let's just get a normal chocobo. Do, do all the chocobos last that long? Uh, some sometimes they last longer. Hmm. It depends on how well you've bred them. I just want to make sure I'm going the right way. Okay. Um, so what you're saying is this is your oh, fault. Oh, come here. Get him. Hey. You can capture more chocobos. I don't support this animal cruelty. <laughs> the Chocobo kind of flaps around really sadly. Um, you can breed them, and there's a breeder uh, back in the the Harry Potter city. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's like a, I don't know if it was a cheat code or whatever, but I went in there with two war Chocobos, and I got 99 combat Chocobos. Whoa. Huh. And I was very confused about how one Chocobo all right, Made that many. could hmm. make that many Chocobos. Uh, Getting busy, I guess. Yeah, it took a lot. Oh my god. So the behemoth. So this is like the second like map screen area. Overall. Yeah. And there's like level ninety nine dudes just running around. All over the world map. Great. I highly recommend not uh, engaging with them unless you're near a city like over here, because once someone dies, like once one of the three members dies, they're done for the rest until you get to a save point. Oh. Weird. Like they're just dead. Like you can't revive them. I cannot enter right now. Well, it looks like I can't go do that quest. Cool. Jerks. What? All right. <laughs> Let's go fight one of those level 99 things. All right. So I can show you. Let's just screw around. Then we'll go do a yeah, mission. I, I still hey! Didn't, I still didn't have a good sense of like what you were actually doing <laughs> yeah, in the combat. It. This is why I'm still super glad Alexa's here. Okay. So. That's a, that's a good battle transition. So. Oh, there's three, three entirely. Oh, God. I hate that guy. I don't know why he's in my party. So, so, are, so are, are you hitting a button and attacking, or are you I am commands? locked on. I'm locked on with R1. Okay. And I am hitting square. You can okay. hold down square repeatedly uh -huh. um, to do your normal basic attack. Uh, triangle, you can actually customize uh, the X and triangle buttons uh, to this whatever you want. So not he's entirely unlike the 15 combat. No, it's not. Um, uh, they have they, the two games share a director, so oh, oh, really? Yeah, their combat is. Oh, I see. 15's combat is a little sim similar. Okay. But you can, like the X button and the triangle button, you can put both two magics, you can put two abilities in it, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Um, and then you always have one defensive ability, so I have Cure, uh, which I should have probably used at some point in the battle. Um, let's get another one, and then I can get into more detail about switching, because the, can I get in there? No, of course not. Why no. would I be able to go through there? Yeah, come on, it's a video game. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. So you always have three people on the battlefield, and typically, it de like you pick a you pick a leader, and then the game gives you two reserves, uh, which are typically at the top of your list. If you want to switch, you hit uh, the D-pad, 
And you can just switch between them all on the fly. I think that it's weird that when you switch it, they kind of rubber band back to where you were yeah. when you switched instead of you just going to them. Sometimes that comes in handy. Like sometimes if I'm in a really tough battle, I really like having them come to me. Okay. But sometimes, most of the time, I don't. Because I'll be like, oh, I want to be over there fighting that thing, and then I get pulled away from it. Yeah, it seems kind of productive. And you got to run back over there and. Yeah. yeah. Let's go fight a level 99 thing. Yes. Look at me. All right. Hey. You got this. Hey. Hey. So is this is this a second playthrough save or is this your first? This is a first playthrough save. Okay. How does that stuff work? Do, do your levels and everything carry over? Um, your levels oh, don't. Oh god. Yeah. Goodbye. Or do they? Wow. Oh oh, you can deploy reserve members as well if you want. You can call someone from reserves to come out and take the place of all the people that have been killed. <laughs> oh boy. What? Why, oh, why wow. Are, why are... Oh, my God. Why? Hold on. Oh, yeah, I'm, keep going. It'll be fine. Let's try this guy. No, something really funny happens if everyone dies. Um, so, in theory, you could fight something and literally blow through all 14 members of Class Zero. I, got this. I just want them all to die. Good block. Well, you blocked it? Twice. All right. I'm not going to call any reserves. Oh, the guy fled. So, if you die on the world map mm -hmm. and everyone's dead, like, this is the screen you get. You just have your dead body laying out in the field. It's very sad. Uh... <laughs> it's, very, <laughs> it's very sad. So, we'll go home now but it's pretty and sad. go to a mission. I thought we had a mission, but then they wouldn't let us do the mission. I don't get this game. Yeah, this game's fun. Um, so... Red, can you hand me that bucket back there? I'm... Are you... Ooh. Yeah, dude. yeah right? Crap. Look at that. This is the awful. Worst. Oh, God. There, and there, there's no option for tweaking that at all? No. No. That's terrible. The camera was really crappy in the f in the PSP version. People were like, it, does, it doesn't it does let you go anywhere. So they, like, overcompensated. It's, it's really just the blur. I don't understand why. Yeah, the motion why. blur is what I'm I having the most I, issue I don't understand with. why it's so intense. Motion blur makes me sad. And I'm like, sure they're oh, trying to cover up the fact that you know the the textures are probably not I guess the most so, high yeah, but, but it's not like it's not like you can't tell when the camera's stationary. Yeah. So it's Alexa a weird, mentioned, weird choice. You mentioned a, like a fan translation thing. Yes, there is a uh, there was a fan translation. I'm gonna instigate the mission. We can go into combat. Um, there was a fan translation uh, that was pretty far along. They were uh, they had like a uh, last I heard there was a patch. Okay, this is also a really crappy part. Like the the running around, mm -hmm. like you have to run around, take get orders, run around, uh, like leave. Okay. So the urgency is kind of taken out of it. You don't just go. Um, there was a fan translation three years in the making that was actually pretty far along. Um, they had translated like everything, but I think a few a few menus, and they were releasing a final patch, and it was supposed to come out for good in August of last year. They were going to make like a ROM available for okay. people, and. Um, Right before E3, Square sent them that cease and desist, mm. and then announced um, Sunberry, and then announced that this game was coming out. That fan translation uh, just died. Like they worked on it for three years, and they just scrapped it. I'm, it was I, a really I, good translation too. I, I may have found that ROM, and I may have tried that at home, and, and they do not have that motion blur. Um, oh, this version. is a sortie. I don't want to do this. Sorry. I gotta say that it looks a little bit better, like emulated, like off the original yeah. PSP ROM. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I want to yeah. see it. I never. I again, I like you. I played the demo, the original demo, and mm. then just didn't. Was like okay. Also, the load times are pretty bad. If they were that close to finishing, did they just like finish it up on the sly and kind of slip it out there, or is that is that I trend, think? translation? I think I think so, that's what happened. No, oh, that's yep. That's they were like, that, oh, that okay. Stands to reason. Yeah. What? I didn't want to do this. Why am I here? Yeah, this game does this. It'll drop you into like weird locations and be like, do it. But the combat's so good. I'm late. I'm late. Oh no. I'm sorry. Am I the last one? <laughs> the voice acting's very bad. No, yeah. There's... I'm so sorry. I'm late. It's okay. Everybody is. I don't know. I, I may have had my last you the combat so good experience with thirteen, and that might be it for me. I was really impressed with the combat. And I no, I loved it. Yeah. And, but but ever, all the other bullshit associated with that game was 
do such we, a huge obstacle. Do we care about yeah. do we care about these people no. right now? Hi. He just no. answered for us. The important question is, do you ever feel like you care about these characters throughout the course no. of the game? See, that's that's the problem. Like, well, I don't know. I mean, there were things to like about the story in 13, but... Yeah, there were things to like. I, so, but the girl... it was girl, too long. It was too long. The girl that just ran in, the girl with the red eyes, uh, her and that emo dude, Machina, have, like, a romance, a, like, very awfully, like, done, just like a child childhood romance going sure. on. And That's how all I, of my romances are. And she is terminally ill. Okay. So throughout the game, she gets sort of weaker and weaker and sicker and sicker. And okay. Machina, like, blows a gasket and is like, I'm going to become a lassie to protect her. Oh, wow. And then, okay. I don't want to spoil anything, but Rem makes a similar choice to protect him. Okay. And then they both get boned. You get to be a god and you get to be a god. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> They throw, but the fact that they they throw those terms out and they're like, oh my god, the Lassie is here, and they never explain. I'm actually surprised to hear that even those concepts carried over because I thought the uh, I thought the Fabula Nova Crystallis stuff was just a bunch of marketing bullshit to make you want more games than you thought you did. Yeah, uh, like I, I didn't think they actually those games shared any commonalities at all. No way. The remnants, uh, the remnants are here in Type Zero. I don't know what that is. Machina's missing again. The the. A Where could he oh, okay. this? oh, this is an airship. Gotcha. That he would flake out, All right, bye. Machina's gone. But this Good. is clearly this is not the it's not straight up the same world as thirteen, right? No, okay. it's not the same world as it's thirteen. Just, it's just some of the concepts are similar. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of oh god. All right, help me pick party members. Um, who's the lady? Oh yeah, Ivy. Um, Ivy. Yeah, the one with the the chain whip. Oh, sword. seven. Sure. All right, seven. Yep. I like Trey. He's got a bow and arrow. That's pretty cool. Hey, what I'm, about King? You want King? I don't know. Is King a tiger man? King has guns and an undercut. Mm. Okay. I like it. It's not as good as being a tiger man, but I guess I'll take it. Wait, I put them in my reserves. Oh, no. What happened? I don't... Oh, <laughs> oh. This game is super unclear about who... Who... Whatever. Yeah, because you're trying to put them in active, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, boy. All right. Sure. So is this? Oh, we're sending them <clears throat> on different missions. Oh. Oh, wait. What? The, what? The, okay. <laughs> I'm confused. Was that? Are you sending? Are you deploying guys on missions that you're not actually playing? No. Like we will play. That what they'll do is they'll be like, okay, here are two missions going on. Pick one team oh. and pick another team. Oh. Now we get to pick but, in uh, Idolin. But, but then do you still have to play them both out? Yes. Okay. So it's not like. Uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a comparison, like Assassin's Creed or something, where you're deploying guys on missions and they just go do them. Yeah, no. Like that? Okay. Or you, like uh, Monster Hunter, Brad. Or like Monster, or Monster Hunter. Hunter. Sure, I don't know. Yeah, you get to play. You get to play all the missions. Um, it's really hard splitting them up because they're like, make sure you have a ranged person. I kind of want to put Shiva in here because Shiva's design in this game is absolutely ridiculous. She's cool. Uh, She's on not to keep harping on 13, but if it's more ridiculous than the one from 13, I'll be very impressed. Um, she's on roller skates this time. Okay, that's she's, good. I'm in. She's wearing a bikini, okay. and she's on roller skates. All right, that, that'll work. I mean, last time she turned into a motorcycle, but... Um, so another cool thing about this is you can have NPCs come in and fight with you, and you can actually level up how powerful your NPCs are by continuously using NPCs as support in missions. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's kind of helpful for longer missions. It's sort of like a, not a handicap, but it's like a really easy way to get extra bodies out on the battlefield to help out. Hey, Brad, what does that look like? Uh, it's like sepia-toned old war footage. Mm -hmm. There's doesn't, a lot of this in there. Doesn't look uh, Tolkien-esque. Okay, yeah, Those sure. Nah. Yeah, even yeah, even the script is kind of there. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. We're getting attacked by Arkham, guys. This game also relies, like, I love the combat, I love, love the combat, but, like, this game relies on a lot of really long cutscenes for exposition. Okay. Like, what's happening right now. Do you, do we, do we care about uh, the airships? CG, I'll take a look at it. Okay. It's, you know. This, it does this. It's, it's lot, like. It's a lot better than a lot of bunch of static characters just jawing at each other. Yeah. That's true. Um, there's a, quite a bit of CGI in this game. But I still don't understand. They're like, this country controls the dragons, and then it's never mentioned again, and then all of a sudden you're fighting dragons. It's a lot of dragons. Yeah, that is quite a few dragons. Yeah, there's a lot of exposition in this game. The whole idea is that, like I said before, the world has like been going through these 
events over and over and over and over and over and nobody remembers and the world just keeps re the being reborn with and here's the Lissy Soryu, an Azure Dragon Lissy okay. demigod people taking advantage of the confusion in Rubrum's ranks the Concordian Vanguard Yawn. units Ascension and Fury Initiated combat. See, yep, I don't. I'm very familiar with them. Sure. I don't understand why they couldn't have done that VO over this footage. Right. right. I know. I know that they're trying to do like a. Oh, it's like an old, like the old war movies. Like, have you seen? Oh God, I forgot the name of it. But the older movies where it's like, here's the action, and then it'll stop and be like, like the 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 block of text on black. Oh, sure. To explain what happened. You mean like silent films? Huh? Or, you mean you mean like silent films or? Not silent films. I'm thinking of. I might be thinking of Tor. Have you seen Tor Tor Tora? No. I think that movie did that. I don't remember. Anyway, Regrouping, there's Odin. The eleventh autonomous summoning platoon also joined the fray. The you, get, you get to play as Odin's him in the Odin's early parts of the game, don't you? Like, uh, do you control yeah. the Eidolons? Yes. Like all throughout the game, that's awesome. You you control them. Although there are a couple of weird instances. Um, if you're playing on easy mode, I okay. was playing on easy mode. Um, I did. Most of the game on normal, drop down to easy for some more difficult things. But there was a couple of boss battles where I like everyone gets wiped out, and then the words on the screen appear like "Rest my children, I will take care of this," and it auto summons your Adolin. Oh, cool! And in one of the instances, my Adolin was auto summoned, and I couldn't control her. That, okay. And I was deeply, deeply confused <laughs> as to why she was. Autonomously skating around the battlefield, like attack. doing pirouettes. I was like, "Why?" And it I wasn't can't... for like one major attack or something. Like it was actually fighting a yeah. normal battle. Yeah, wow. it was fighting them. You get the Adolins for like two minutes, mm -hmm. or like a minute and a half, and then they disperse. But to summon them, you have to sacrifice your party leader. Okay. So whoever you're being, you're controlling, make sure it's someone you don't care for because they're gone for the rest of the battle this if you sacrifice them. Bird Shuyu to Lots of Lassie. Okay, I'm good. Are we good? Can I, can I tell you a cool. secret? Yes. I'm sitting behind you guys. Yep. So you can't see when my eyes start glazing over. Because <laughs> I knew it was coming. Yeah. I knew it was coming. Do you want me to, do you want me to skip no, this? I, uh, I don't know. How much left is there? Uh, quite a bit. I just, this is a I, long I just, cutscene. You know, knowing, like you said, knowing how I'm Final Fantasy it. likes to lay out its exposition, I knew yeah. at a certain point this game was going to get super wordy. It's, yeah, it's literally like, here is a, oh god, it's like, here's ten minutes with some words. So there's Ooh. some, there's some really interesting, wait, this is the wait, what's happening? Unequip. Wait. L1 to unequip. What? Now you can interact, operate. There we go, okay. Yeah. So there's a lot of, like, weird little sections like this. Okay. Wait. Oh. I was... Stop curing me. Where are the dragons? There's a bunch of tiny little sections where you'll have to like do something weird. Like there's an airstrike mission where you call in like bombs from above, which is actually pretty cool. Neat. But um, you have to like hide. You have to find cover. So you have to find cover at the same time you're sh dropping the bombs so like they don't hit you. Okay. But at the same time, all these giant mechs are like actively walking up to you, so you have to keep moving. And if you stop and keep moving, then your airstrike starts over. Also, you can't pause the game to use a potion. Like, if you want to use a potion, you go to the items menu, and the game is still going on. Oh, no. Like, while you're on the pause screen. That's kind of rough. Yeah. What, so, if, what if you had it pre-equipped, though? Um, you hit down on the D-pad. Right. All right. Thunder this dude. So it seems like there's a variety of different, like, you know, battle-type scenarios. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. just kind of cool. They, yeah. do a, they do a really good job with mission structure. No two missions are the same. Okay. Um, are set up the same way, which is nice. This is a dragon that I'm trying to get down. Yes! Nice. So if you see a yellow circle appear on the enemies, then you can get a critical hit in. And some enemies can only be damaged by critical hits, so you have to like sit there and wait. Oh, weird. Okay. Um, and if you see the red circle, then it's an insta-hit. Can I get back on here? Where is it? This is where I shoot them, right? Yeah. Fire the magic auto cannons! Man, I hate it when we have to resort to the magic auto cannons. They're all coming in at the same angle. This is too easy. 
So also, all of the names of the NPCs that come in and support you are names of people who worked on the game in Japan. Oh, funny. So like, Tetsuya Nomura came in and helped me beat a boss. <laughs> which is really cool. It's a nice little touch. He threw a bunch of belt buckles at them. <laughs> Zipper attack. Uh, did, so did, did the original incarnation of this game ever actually come out on mobile? It didn't, right? Agito yeah. is a separate game where well, you're thought, where well, you're a cadet. Wait, I thought that turned into this. Uh, originally, uh, Ag uh, Agito 13 became Type Zero. Right. But Final Fantasy Agito oh. is a mobile game. Oh, that that did come out. Yeah, and it's in the same world, okay. but it is a different game. Cutscene, cutscene. That airship is fucked up. It's just it, whoa. It, it blows my mind that when did they announce all three of the 13 games? 2006. Was it 06, right? Nine years later, and two of them are st either just now coming out yeah. or still not out yet. Well, mercifully, Final Fantasy 15 drops the whole falsy Lissy thing. Yeah. Um, that will not be in it. Use the rapid fire cannon. Oh, I'm back at the same cannon again. Oh, God. Really? Get him. Really? All yeah. Right. So there's none of that in 13. But they kept the whole, like, Goddess of Death thing that was in 13. Oh my god. Dear Three Headed Dragons. Really cool, actually. I just like that it, it breaks up the, yeah. uh, the combat a little bit. No, it's good. Like, like, the combat system itself is, like, super duper good. Mm -hmm. But I do like that, despite the like horrible dialogue and a weird story, that you're never like, it's never like, all right, well, I'm gonna go into six boxed rooms and there's a boss at the end. Like they do stuff like this, okay. which is nice. And who's behind me screaming like that? Jeez, not you, Brad, in the game. No, it's definitely <laughs> that's me. Camera's really sensitive. So who's the targeter? You dead yet, dragon? Oh my god. <laughs> What's up with the Oh my god, hey! What's up with the Wi Fi symbol in the go? upper right? That's a good question. Where are you? On Wait. the other side of the ship. What happened? Flash bomb. De I'm deeply confused. Oh, I was supposed to do that. So that's another thing that annoys me about this game. Whoa. Frozen clouds. Um, something that annoys me about this game is it'll set you into, and there's one at the end of this mission, but it'll put you into boss battles where you are supposed to die, like you're supposed to lose and everyone is supposed to not survive just so a deus ex machina thing can happen. Oh, sure. And like Bahamut suddenly flies out of the sky and saves you. <laughs> I'm gonna auto target this dude. Creme brulees. Are delicious. I. We'll take your word for that. Why are you doing no damage? You don't like creme brulees? I don't think I want to eat one of those things. Well, not one of these, but no, you've, you've really, had a creme brulee, yeah? I, that's the, yeah, but this is not any creme brulee I've ever seen. It looks just like the creme brulee I've had. So oh. you, you, yeah, they are, they're all just screaming at you. You, you lead like, the way on this one. Mouths agape. Oh. Well, that bomb, on the other hand, I'll take a bite out of that. Wait, what? Someone leveled up. Come on, bomb. I mean, at least they're kind of making the most of what they got here with a little yeah. depth of field and stuff. Like, Alexa, how's the uh, the AI for the characters? The AI is so good. Yeah. Oh my god, the AI is actually smart. As you can see, she's actually going after it. Okay, I don't see her doing. Yeah, anything. she's not. She's not doing shit. I don't understand why. There we okay. go. Um, no, the AI is really is actually pretty smart. Okay. Uh, Ace died, which makes me deeply sad. So I'm gonna get my other gun shooter out, Cater. Okay. I like Cater. She's like selfie. All of the characters of Class Zero are basically a previous Final Fantasy character. Oh god. They, they seem pretty stereotypical. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. It just occurred to me that that character's name is Selfie. Fuck. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Predating the common use of Selfie by what? Take a selfie. 15 years? She was an 8, right? No. Oh. That was a crit. Come on. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. I like using, there's so many, oh god. Oh jeez. Yeah, there's so many enemies in this game. I'm also really low level for this mission. Oh no, let's get Rem. It's all right. How do these monsters get up in the frozen clouds? Oh. 
Oh god, okay. Cure, thank you. I'm just gonna hit them with magic. Oh, he's dead. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, no, the AI is pretty great. Um, if you're playing with only class zero members, and you're leveling them all up uh, appropriately, as you should, like, they do a fair amount of damage. Oh god. I like using her a lot, too. Rem? Yep. I like Rem. Rem's cool. Oh, no. Where's the thing that I just was just looking at? Oh. oh okay. I don't... Lurch. Uh, oh, or oh, no. Oh, no. I don't have any ranged people on my team right now. Not, not even Ryoko? No. Uh, oh. I'm just going to shoot him with magic. That, that's the only downside I see to the SP system is like if you have two people on your team. Mm -hmm. Okay, go, 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 get him. Rem, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Oh, that's fake Rem. NPC Rem. If you don't have any ranged people, you just kind of have to stand there and like. Use the, uh, the evade mostly for traversal or is it pretty effective? The evade is pretty effective if yeah. you're moving fast enough. All this game wants to do is like. There you go, item equipped. Um, all this game wants you to do is fly around and like move really fast. Okay. So and you're also, not like looking for tells from the enemies so much? Yeah. Okay. Watch. All right. Items. Item. I need an ether. I'm going to use an elixir because I don't have any ethers. Yeah, so it doesn't pause. The game does not pause if you go into that screen. Strange. It's scary. It's very scary. I've definitely died uh, trying to just get a potion. There's some dudes. Get them. Where are you? I'm gonna be queen for a while. Queen's actually one of my favorites. For melee. But yeah, they tell you, like, have one melee person in your party and have one ranged person. And, like, I. Oh boy. Like, strongly, strongly suggest that. You follow that advice because so many there's more flying enemies in this game than there are um, ground enemies. That sounds like a real pain in the ass. There's so many. Yeah, no, it's a huge pain in the ass. So many just dragons, just dragons hanging out. Oh my god. Some bosses you definitely don't want to get close to. Snow Squash is not having it. No, he's not. Oh no. Oh god. This camera is causing me anxiety. <laughs> Physical pain. Yeah. Uh, you let's guys get Sice out here, and let's call Shiva. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, no! Leave me alone. I'm trying to call my Sheev. Yeah. Oh, get Sheev's out here. Get the Sheev. Look at her. She's just crazy. She's adorable. And the snow squash, snow squash is in the way. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, God. She's very floaty. Like, I can barely control her. Well, she's skating on frozen clouds. Yeah, she's hard to hard to handle. Go back. Go back. Hey. Give him a winter wonderland. <laughs> a winter wonderland. Oh my god. Stop blocking. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah. Oh. I'm very disoriented right now. I don't know about you guys. I, I, ouch. <laughs> I may or may not have closed my eyes. Rough man. Oh god. I swear to god, the combat is so great. No, I, I believe you. But like this crap there's happens. A, there's a good flow to it. I, I like that a lot, but. Yeah, these uh, uh, camera movements. Like, Type Zero is, oh. doing, is doing Final Fantasy a lot better than a lot of recent Final Fantasies have done. However, this camera. Also, look at. Oh my god. Not without its warts. Yeah. Oh my god. What the fuck? Jesus! Fuck is God. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the enemy AI is really dumb. I will say that. You guys think we've basically seen the last of the old style Final Fantasy combat just kind of standing there issuing orders and watching them play out? 100%. Yeah. Alright, I need a reserve member. Give me this guy. So what you're saying is I should just go back and play 4 again? I love 4. I know, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, I... Four is so good. Fred, uh, how do you stand on six? It's 
Probably my favorite? Yes, agreed. Yeah. Six is the best. I don't know. It's it's between four and six. I never played five. We, five I, is really good. Five, so uh, what's something that I really like about Final Fantasy is how it tries to incorporate like elements of like it tries to it tries to make it seem like everything is happening within like the same universe. Sure. Um, five introduced probably my favorite Final Fantasy character, uh, Gilgamesh. Oh sure. Mm. Um, as like the, at the end of the game or after you fight him, he gets sucked into the void, like the void of time, and he has shown up in almost every game since. Um, he was in 12 as like a, a warrior lost in time and he had six arms and one arm had Titus's brotherhood and one had a gun blade and like he had Cloud's buster sword. So he had like swords of the people that he had vanquished. Back, when, back when those games were new and I was just getting on the internet, uh, <laughs> five was not out here. Oh. I somehow got like the, I somehow managed to download Gilgamesh's theme from Final Fantasy V and I was just like fascinated by it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I love Battle it, on the Big Ridge. A, it was really good, and B, it was like, man, there's this whole fucking Super NES Final Fantasy that I have no access to, and it's killing me. Oh, yeah, no, that game's good. And I never got to play it. Um, Gilgamesh but. is in, uh, he's in this game as well. He's a non-optional boss, but you don't have to beat him. All right, they want me to run away from that, and I'm going to try and run away from it. I just don't know where to go. Okay, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't run away from it. The Minori Chimera, whatever it's called. Oh god. Ooh. Get it. Just spam it. Whew. Nice work. Whew. Yeah, so there's a lot of bosses that like if you die, the game just continues anyway. This is they got us. Oh there's this game dead is people madness. here. Five -star dragon. Even we could have See, I chance. I don't understand what they mean by a five star dragon came and like killed everyone. Like, I genuinely have no idea what half of these things mean. Like, I'm is five star good? Is it like Michelin stars? Probably. I mean, oh. you probably need a few more playthroughs. Oh. Who's that? I see you're still Nog Nog Nogi. Nogi. Well, moving on, there's a tough critter up ahead. Okay. Oh, no. It's preventing some of our forces from joining up. What do you say to lending them a hand on your way? Yeah. Quest confirmed. Class zero. Go and assist the survivors. Understood. Do it. All right. I'm going. Yeah, and then stuff like that. You've reached a safe area. Phew. But I can't move yet. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, good. These just completely, like... Recharge your... Recharge you. Your stuff. I'm going to send Jack out. Okay. So Jack's going to help me here. I'm very nervous because I don't have my baby Ace anymore. He died. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to go fight that guy. Why can't you just Phoenix down his ass? You can't Phoenix, you can't revive fallen party members. That's weird. And during missions, yeah. If they're done, they're done. You just can't, can't get them back. Mm. I mean, they give you 14 different party members, but at the same time, like, it's so easy to lose one or two. Yep. Especially in big missions like this. And you get fond of certain ones, yeah. No, no. Okay, there we go. Ooh. I just want to crit. Crit, crit, crit. Yeah. Oh, he did now. Harvest their bodies and leave. Really like all the combat animation. No, the combat animation is great, and like if you watch if you watch this game for thirty plus hours, like I did, um, you'll notice that every single one of them has a different animation. Like there's two swords on the battlefield. There's two different types of guns. All of them have completely different animations. Well, uh, these, these missions just uh, go and go and go, huh? Yeah, missions are long. No, I can't get that guy because he's far away, up, up in the. There we go. There we go. Why? Oh, he's like off the ledge. I can't get him. Can I? Okay. <laughs> Seems that, to work. That happens sometimes. Oh no, it's not what I wanted to do. But now you know how to pause the game. I wanted an item, but he was watching me. Oh, can I just get to this? Hell yeah. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yes, all right. <laughs> it's convenient. Right? That disappears though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's gone. Can't use it once. They typically go away after you use them. But there are, I don't know if you've uh, noticed, there are checkpoints and save points everywhere. 
during a mission, there can be up to like five. I think there was one mission where there was one in every area, mm -hmm. which how many, is pretty nice. How many hours would you say you put into this before you finished it? 30 plus. Good lord. Oh, all right. That's that guy is not happy. Good it's amount. about 30 plus it's when I hours. finally stopped playing. Um, Video games are long, y'all. I, I played this, oh, damn it. Sorry. Oh, I don't like any of these people. Oh, all right. I'm my friggin' reject unit now. <laughs> out squad. on the battlefield. I'll try. I'll give it a go. Please get away from me, Behemoth. Please get away from me. Also, this guy can't move. Like, he moves really slowly. Yeah, but he's got like a weird parry thing, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, he's got... Oh. Well... That, that was unfortunate. I might die here, which yeah. will be embarrassing, but also a really good illustration of my point. Sure. You have to. What level um, are we on right now? Is it easier? This is half. This is halfway through the game, and because I skipped right to the end of the chapter, mm -hmm. um, I am severely underleveled. But like difficulty level right now. Uh, this is easy, I think. Okay. Normal. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, I gotta. <sighs> yeah. Use the anima. Flip. Deuce. Yeah. I don't want it. I hate deuce. Yeah, these dudes are all like eight, ten levels above you. Yeah. Um. If you if you you know do every mission, do all your little side quests and stuff, you're totally fine for stuff like this, okay. even on normal. Um, until you get to the final boss when nothing matters anymore. I'm totally gonna die here and lose That's this okay. mission. That's all right. Deuce, I feel, my favorite. I feel like we've gotten a, a pretty good overview here. <laughs> <laughs> Man, she just didn't even try. No, she just whipped out her flute, did her thing. Actually. Am I gonna get a game over, or is that okay? Boom! All right. Well. Yeah. Alexa, I am torn <laughs> on this game. There's uh, so. so many glaring flaws, but that combat looks pretty fun. Um, I gave it an eight. Yeah. I really, really enjoy the combat, and I enjoy the mission structure. Uh, yeah, it's kind of got that typical Final Fantasy incomprehensible ness to it. Sure. But um, I think the combat is doing like RPG combat and customization mm -hmm. way 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 better than a lot of the than a lot of current JRPGs are doing. And I think this is a really good way for people who are wondering, am I should I get excited about 15? Do I want am I, like do I care anymore? Play this game. It's by the same director. Uh, the combat's super similar. And mm -hmm. if you purchase this game, you get the 15 demo oh, as damn. well. Damn, that's a deal. Yeah. So, I would say give it a shot. I mean, maybe not a 30-hour shot <laughs> if you're a crazy person like sure. me, but definitely give it a shot. All right, excellent. Yeah. Well, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yeah thanks. thank you for having me.